The federal government under the Ministry of Works has engaged the services of six senior advocates of Nigeria to defend lawsuits initiated by a grief person concerning the construction of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. One of the legal suits is seeking information regarding the 15 trillion budget allocated for the construction of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. The suit was initiated by right lawyer Olukoya Ogunbege asking the court to compare the Federal Ministry of Works Minister Dave Umai and the federal government to disclose details of the 15 trillion budget for the 700 km Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. The case was filed under the Freedom of Information Act. The suit is also demanding a fine of 20 million naira against Dave Umai for allegedly denying access to the requested information. In response, the federal government of Nigeria, the Minister of Work Dave Umai, has lined up six sons to defend the federal government. And this is hilarious, isn't it? I know most of you must have forgotten about the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. It is a monstrous project initiated by Bola Metinibu administration upon resumption in office. The 731 km road is meant to link all the coastal states from Lagos State to Cross River State, traversing Ogun, Undo, Edo, Delta, Bayesa, Rivers, and Akwaibom State. The announcement was met with a lot of criticism from many Nigerians, including Atiku Abubakar and Mr. Peter Robi. Everyone applauded the magnitude and economic significance of the project, but the timing and financing was a major issue. For instance, Atiku Abubakar, the 2023 PDP presidential candidate, has faulted the project, saying it lacks transparency. Atiku said that Shei Tinibu, who is a son of Bolame Tinibu and his surrogate, are on the board of companies owned by Gibet Chogri, who is the owner of Hitech Group that was awarded the contract and therefore it constitutes conflict of interest. Now, let me also inform you that this project was awarded to Hitech Construction Company and it is being owned by Gibet Chogri without any competitive bidding. The act by the federal government to award this monstrous project to Gibet Chogri without any competitive bidding contravened the procurement law. It is also important to note that this project is the single most expensive project ever embarked by Nigerian government whose budget was done without any appropriation by the Senate. Mr. Peter Robi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general election, has asked the federal government to shape the plan of building the project and focus on rehabilitating existing bad roads across the sixth geopolitical zone. You can also remember that it was this same project that the famous landmark beach worth over $200 million with over 4,000 workers was demolished to pave way for this project. Building such a monstrous project in a time the federal government complained of inheriting a bad economy from the Buhari administration and amidst massive hunger and suffering demands clear accountability from the federal government to Nigerians. Every government owes her citizen accountability. But you will agree with me that Bola Metinibu's government knows nothing about accountability. Everything is done in secrecy. First, they lied that the project will be a private partnership project where High Tech Group will build the road, toy it, and hand it over to the federal government. But the same federal government went ahead to release 1 trillion naira for the commencement of the project. The same federal government bought a $150 million presidential jet after denying it without accountability. The same way no one knows the cost of the presidential jet to date is the same way no one knows the cost of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. This is the reason why aggrieved lawyers have taken the federal government to court. Due to the information bill, they are asking the federal government to make known to Nigeria the budget of this coastal highway. But rather than giving them answer, the federal government is hiring six senior advocates of Nigeria to defend them in court so the court can stop the federal government from being accountable to Nigerians. Bola Metinibu wants to go ahead to build a monstrous project that will span for 30 years to be completed. A project that will gob a budget of over 15 trillion naira without being accountable. Without telling Nigerians the source of this fund and equally explaining to Nigerians where the 1 trillion naira that was released initially for the commencement of this project has been put into. 
everything is all about secrecy. Nobody is being held accountable. Nobody is being accountable. Everything is being done on their own terms and accord. This is a clear disregard of the Accountability Act. Like I said initially, if the federal government has nothing to worry about or anything to be scared about, they would not have been going to court to stop the people, Nigerians, from knowing what they are spending on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. But I will tell you that they have something to be scared about because everything they've done in this project is all shady. Let me take you down memory lane. Everyone is talking about the fraudulent activities of Sani Abacha, the former head of state. Ever since the death of Sani Abacha, billions of dollars belonging to Nigeria has been discovered in different foreign accounts in different countries. It was stated that Abacha was able to loot several billions of dollars belonging to Nigeria by inflated contracts. After his death, Two people were indicted for helping Abacha to launder that much money across different accounts in foreign land. It will shock you that two of those people that help Abacha to launder that money are close associates of Bola Metinibu. One of them is in Bola Metinibu cabinet. The other one, guess who he is? The same person that was awarded the contract of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, Gibe Chogri. Mr. Gibe Chogri is a Nigerian born businessman of Lebanese descent. He's the founder of the Chogri Group whose multi-billion dollar assets span construction, manufacturing, real estate and hotels. He has accrued an infamous track record for decades. Mr. Chogri was convicted in 2000 of money laundering and aiding a criminal organization. In the 1990s, he set up accounts with SG Rook Bank in Geneva for the Abacha family, enabling them to benefit from illegal transfer of over $120 million from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Gibert Trogri paid $600,000 in fines to the court in Geneva, Switzerland and refunded $66 million to the Nigerian government. Guess who was after Gibert Trogri in 2000 over his criminal involvement with the Abacha family? Guess who? Nuhu Ribadu, the now National Security Advisor to Bola Ahmed Tinibu. During the COP28 summit in Dubai, Bola Ahmed Tinibu listed Gibert Trogri as his personal confidant Yes, the same Gibe Chogri that was indicted for aiding Abacha to loot billions of dollars and stashing it in foreign banks abroad. It is the same Gibe Chogri that Bola Metinibu awarded a 15 trillion Naira Calabar Coastal Highway project to. Let us talk about the other person that is serving as a minister in this current administration that also aided Abacha to loot billions of dollars out of this country. The next person is Atiku Baguda, the current minister of budget and planning. Mr. Baguda was involved with the offshore front companies and bank accounts from the British Virgin Islands to Ireland, Switzerland, Germany, Singapore, England, Paris, and Jersey, used to steal and launder billions of dollars belonging to Nigeria under the Abacha regime. He acted as a director and in some cases as a signatory of accounts or prime beneficiary. Atiko Baguda was indicted in the US paid fines worth millions of dollars and was released to the Nigerian government to be prosecuted. But however, he was never prosecuted in Nigeria as he ended up becoming a senator and a two-time governor of KB State. This same Atiku Baguda is the current Minister of Budget and Planning for Bola Metinibu. He is the same man that planned and budgeted for the Calabar Coastal Highway. Two people indicted in Edina Abacha to launder money billions of dollars. Two of these people are in Bola Ahmed Tinibu administration. One a close associate and confidant, one the minister of budget and planning. And they are all instrumental in executing a monstrous project of over 15 trillion naira. Now, lawyers have taken the federal government to court, asking them to make known to Nigerians the budget of this project, be accountable to this project, tell us where this money is coming from. Tell us where this money is going. Rather than giving them answers, the federal government is hiring six son, six senior advocates of Nigeria to help the courts to stop Nigerians from knowing the whereabouts of their resources. It is crazy how Bola Metinibu is doing everything he's doing in Nigeria today and he's going away with it. Nobody is questioning him. Everywhere is calm. I could remember vividly when this Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway came on board. People were very skeptical about it, especially with the fact that Gibe Chogri was the one handling the project. The way and manner the project was approved, 
the hastiness in carrying out the project, a project that was done without carrying out any needs assessment. Business is worth over millions of dollars were destroyed. Ancestral land belonging to indigenous have been destroyed because of this same project. And yet, nobody is given accountability to this project. No one knows if the project has commenced. The Federal Ministry of Work is not even given any information regarding the project. They promised to release the needs assessment of this project. Nothing has been done so far. And when lawyers take them to court for them to give accountability to Nigerians, they decided to hire Sam to defend them. What a country. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.